Welcome to the world of Formula One racing, where drivers battle it out for glory at speeds that will leave you breathless. And there's no better place to witness this than at the Bahrain Grand Prix. This race has seen some of the most epic battles in F1 history, with drivers pushing their cars to the limit, going wheel to wheel and fighting for every inch of the track. In this video, we're going to take you on a thrilling journey through what we believe are the top five unforgettable F1 battles in Bahrain Grand Prix history. From nail-biting finishes to heart-stopping overtakes, these moments have forever cemented their place in the history of F1 lore. So buckle up and get ready to relive the excitement as we take you through the top five most memorable showdowns in Bahrain Grand Prix history. This is a video you won't want to miss. Oh, and we'll also give you a bonus race of one we thought should have made our list. So stick around. But before we proceed, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button and smash the hell out of the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the exciting updates that we bring. Okay, let's get right into it. Coming in at number five, we have the 2017 Bahrain Grand Prix. The 2017 Bahrain Grand Prix was the third race of the 2017 Formula One season and was held on April 16, 2017 at the Bahrain International Circuit. The race was won by none other than Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel, who started the race from the front row alongside pole sitter Valtteri Bottas of Mercedes. Vettel managed to overtake Bottas at the start of the race and held the lead for the majority of the race. Just the kind of dedication we need from a driver. Mercedes' is Lewis Hamilton, who started the race from ninth on the grid due to a five-place grid penalty, fought his way up to finish in second place, just six seconds behind Vettel. We just know Hamilton probably ended this race with major regrets. Bottas finished in third place while his teammate and defending world champion, Nico Rosberg, retired from the race due to technical issues. For whom we can surely say only Lightning McQueen could have made him feel better. And if you do not get this reference, try Google or maybe you should just reflect on yourself for a bit. Red Bull's Daniel Ricciardo finished in fourth place. Of course, because Red Bull cannot give you actual wings. Followed by his teammate Max Verstappen in fifth place. Felipe Massa of Williams finished in 6th place, while Sergio Perez of Force India, Romain Grosjean of Haas, Nico Hülkenberg of Renault and Esteban Ocon of Force India completed the top 10. The race was notable for a clash between Hamilton and Verstappen, with the latter receiving a 10-second time penalty for causing a collision. The race also saw the debut of the Halo cockpit's protection device on the cars, which was designed to improve driver safety. All in all, we believe this was a race to remember, because even now, almost six years later, we still get anxious watching the highlights. Coming in at number four in the year 2018. The 2018 Bahrain Grand Prix. The race was won by none other than Sebastian Vettel, who managed to hold off a charging Valtteri Bottas in the final laps of the race. Hamilton completed the podium much to the delight of the Mercedes fans in the stands. Hamilton really had a tough race, starting from ninth on the grid due to a penalty. But at the time, the four-time star-studded world champion fought his way up to the field to finish in third place, just barely behind Bottas. One of the biggest talking points of the race was the collision between Red Bull racing teammates Max Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo. The incident happened on lap 31 when Verstappen misjudged a move on Ricciardo, causing the two cars to collide and forcing both drivers to retire. The incident led to a tense atmosphere in the Red Bull garage, with team principal Christian Horner admitting that he was very disappointed with the situation. But, again, what is a race without some drama? And let's not forget the unpredictable weather conditions, which included a sudden sandstorm that caught some drivers off guard. The sandstorm caused reduced visibility on the track and led to a number of drivers struggling to keep their cars on the road. Despite the difficult conditions, the drivers managed to keep their cool and put on a great show for the fans. It was quite the spectacle of talent. We would love them to teach us their secrets because any one of us would have just stopped driving right there and then. Overall, the 2018 Bahrain Grand Prix was a thrilling race that kept us on the edge of our seats until the very end. From Vettel's impressive win to the collision between Verstappen and Ricciardo, there was no shortage of drama, and we are definitely here for it. Coming in at number three on our unforgettable list, 
we have the Bahrain 2019 Grand Prix. What a back-to-back-to-back three years it was for Bahrain. No real surprises though as Bahrain has become an iconic track. If you believe otherwise, take it up with us in the comments. This race was won by Lewis Hamilton, who put on a masterful display of driving to fend off a charging Valtteri Bottas in the final laps. Which, by the way, was a huge surprise for us. Hamilton's victory was especially impressive given the fact that he started from second place on the grid, with Charles Leclerc claiming pole position for Ferrari. But his hard work did pay off after all. Leclerc looks set to claim his first ever Formula One win, leading for the majority of the race. However, engine trouble in the closing stages saw him lose power and drop down the field, eventually finishing in third place behind Bottas. Very unfortunate for him. But let us move on to the biggest talking point of the race, the incident between Max Verstappen and Sebastian Vettel. The two drivers came together on lap 38 with Vettel spinning and dropping down the field. The incident was later reviewed by the stewards who handed Verstappen a penalty for causing a collision. The Bahrain Grand Prix also saw some incredible moments for the fans, from the fireworks display before the race to the enthusiastic support for the home team. There was no shortage of excitement in the stands. The fans were treated to some amazing racing with plenty of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action and daring overtakes. But the unsung stars of the show were, of course, the Formula One cars themselves. These machines are the pinnacle of motorsport technology, with incredible speed, precision handling and advanced aerodynamics. The drivers pushed themselves and their cars to the limit, battling for every inch of the track in their quest for victory. Overall, the 2019 Bahrain Grand Prix was a race that had it all. Drama, excitement and incredible performances from the drivers. It was a fitting tribute to the Bahrain International Circuit, which has become one of the most iconic tracks on the Formula One calendar. And just while we thought nothing could beat this, we introduce you to our number two on the list. The 2021 Bahrain Grand Prix. The race started with a spectacular lap from Max Verstappen, who put his Red Bull in the pole position. Lewis Hamilton, the seven-time world champion, started in second place. However, it was Hamilton who took the lead on the first lap, overtaking Verstappen in a breathtaking move and secured the first position in the race. The two drivers traded places several times throughout the race, providing fans with an incredible battle for the lead. But it was eventually Verstappen that ended up in second place, just 0.7 seconds behind Hamilton. And Bottas followed very closely in third. Was an exciting finish indeed. The race was also notable for several incidents that impacted the final result. Sergio Perez, who was making his debut for Red Bull, was forced to retire from the race due to an issue with his car. Charles Leclerc, who'd been running in fourth place, was also forced to retire due to a problem with his Ferrari. These incidents allowed Lando Norris to take advantage and secure a fourth place finish, just behind Valtteri Bottas. Another notable performance came from Carlos Sainz, who was making his debut for Ferrari. Sainz finished in 8th place just behind Fernando Alonso, who was making his return to Formula 1 after a two-year absence. Alonso's performance was particularly impressive, given that he'd only had limited time in the car during pre-season testing, but you know he made the most of it on the track. The 2021 Bahrain Grand Prix was also notable for being the first race since the introduction of new aerodynamic regulations, which were designed to reduce downforce and improve overtaking opportunities. These changes seem to have a positive impact on the racing, with several exciting overtaking moves taking place throughout the race. This Grand Prix was an incredible race that provided fans with an exciting start to the season. Lewis Hamilton's victory showed that he is still at the top of his game, and Max Verstappen proved that he's more than capable of challenging for the championship. This rivalry is simply beautiful. The race also provided fans with a glimpse of the talent of the new generation of drivers, with Lando Norris and Carlos Sainz both putting in impressive performances. Overall, that year was an exciting and entertaining race that left fans eagerly anticipating the rest of the season. And now it all comes down to this. 
our final top unforgettable F1 battle in Bahrain. It was none other than the 2014 Grand Prix. This is a race that everyone in the industry remembers. It saw Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg of Mercedes go head to head. And while the race itself was filled with plenty of excitement, there was a bit of drama leading up to it too. Some activists were protesting the race due to human rights concerns in Bahrain. And I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen a Formula One car get held up in traffic due to a protest. But once the race got underway, it was all about the action on the track. Hamilton had a fantastic start, but Rosberg managed to overtake him on the second lap. And let me tell you, these two were going at it like it was a game of Mario Kart. Hamilton eventually managed to catch up and overtake Rosberg in the final stages of the race, securing the victory and dealing the second place on the podium to Rosberg. But the real battle of the day was between Sergio Perez and Daniel Ricciardo for third place. Perez was looking strong, but Ricciardo, who'd started the race in 13th place, was simply on a mission. It was like watching a video game out there as Ricardo overtook car after car with some incredible driving skills to come so close to a podium finish. But it was all in vain as Perez was somehow able to hold Ricardo off and placed an exciting third. And of course, we can't forget the controversy surrounding the race itself. I mean, who knew Formula One had so much political drama? But despite the protests and concerns, the race went ahead as planned proving that even in the world of motorsport, politics can't always get in the way of a good race. So there you have it, folks, the 2014 Bahrain Grand Prix in all its glory. Hamilton's victory showed why he was a top contender for the championship, while Rosberg's performance underlined the dominance of the Mercedes team. And we'll forever remember the epic battle between Perez and Ricciardo, which had us all on the edge of our seats. And now, as promised, a bonus race. The Sakir Grand Prix of 2020 was a race that will be remembered for years to come, with drivers battling it out in a thrilling battle for the podium on a brand new track. At the start of the race, it was the Mercedes of Valtteri Bottas that took the lead, with his teammate George Russell close behind. But it was the racing point of Sergio Perez that was on a mission, quickly making his way through the field and setting his sights on the front runners. As the laps ticked by, it looked like Bottas had the win in the bag, but a pit stop error by Mercedes changed everything. Russell, who'd been running in second place, was called into the pits, but a mix up with the tyres meant that he had to make an extra pit stop, dropping him down to fifth place. This gave Perez the opportunity he needed, and the Mexican driver seized his chance, taking the lead and holding on to it for the rest of the race. Bottas finished in second place with Charles Leclerc of Ferrari taking the final spot on the podium. I hope I'm not dreaming, said Perez after the race, taking his very first F1 victory in epic fashion as he dropped to last place very early in the race. And the first win for a Mexican driver since Pedro Rodriguez won the Belgian GP in 1970. But it was Russell's drive that stole the show as the young Briton charged through the field in the closing stages of the race, setting the fastest lap and closing in on the leaders. In the end, he finished in a respectable ninth place, a result that showed just what he was capable of. The Sakia Grand Prix of 2020 was a race that had fans on the edge of their seats from start to finish, with unexpected twists and turns and a surprise winner. And it's a race that will surely go down in Formula One history as a true classic. Thanks for reliving the most heart-pumping moments in Bahrain Grand Prix history with us. That was truly a thrilling journey through the top five unforgettable F1 battles, where drivers left it all on the track in their quest for glory. From nail-biting finishes to heart-stopping overtakes, we covered it all. Each race showcased the very best of Formula One, with drivers pushing themselves and their cars to the limit. And that's not all. Our bonus coverage included the 2020 Sakir Grand Prix, where an unexpected twist and a surprise winner had fans on the edge of their seats from start to finish with all the drama. Which race was your favourite? Let us know in the comments below and do remember to give us a like and a subscribe. We appreciate you, the fans, most of all. 
Thanks for joining us in reliving the most unforgettable moments in Bahrain Grand Prix history. Until next time, this has been F1 Racing Now, your inside track to all things F1.